Hello students. So this is question number three of physics paper two of 2021 JE advanced. So this is an interesting question. One such question appeared earlier also in one of the previous year papers. Uh, I think 2019 maybe. Not very sure, but maybe. So this question says that uh, there is a prism which is half made up of a material of refractive index N1. And the other half is made up of a different material, which is which has a refractive index of N2. Now we are considering a case when we kept N1 equal to N2 equal to N, which is equals to 1.5. And then we chose an angle of incidence, which can give us the minimum deviation under these circumstances. So let's first uh, talk about this condition only. If the question says that, uh, angle of incidence was so chosen that we get minimum deviation then it means that these two angles will become equal and it also means that the angle of refraction here will become equal to a uh, half of prism angle which is 30 degree okay so with that in mind i think we are now in a position to write snell's law so let's do that so we will write sin i is equals to 3 by 2 that's 1.5 into sine of 30 degree so that will become 1 by 2 so it becomes 3 by 4 so this is the value of sin i that we are getting okay now this would have been the situation if n1 and n2 would have been equal okay also keep in mind that this angle would have been 90 degree now think of a situation where we have increased the value of n2 by a very very small amount as the question suggests so if we have increased the value by you know a very small amount uh, this ray will travel undeviated here because here it's striking at zero degree angle of incidence so here it will travel straight and then it will strike here and now the angle of incidence which is still 30 degree may not be the uh, uh, may not be may not give us the same value of angle of emergence as it was giving before because the refractive index has changed so what i plan to do i plan to keep this angle as fixed i plan to change the value of n2 by a small amount and i'm expecting a small change in the value of e so let's write the snell's law at this point and then see what we can do so if i have to write snell's law at this second point of strike i am going to write it as n2 into sine of 30 degree is equals to 1 into sine e okay now what i'm going to do we are changing the value of n2 by a small amount and that is cause, causing a change in the value of e so let's differentiate this equation so sine 30 will remain fixed because this angle never changes it remains a 30 only so it will become half into d n2 is equals to and this becomes cos e uh, <clears throat> into de okay so and what is the value of e right now so the value of e right now or cos e right now would be same as the value of cos i because uh, under the conditions when these two were 30 uh, e will become equal to i so we are going to write root of 1 minus sine square i which is 9 by 16 which becomes root of 7 by 4 okay so we can now say that d n 2 by 2 is equals to root 7 by 4 into d e which basically means that d n 2 is equals to uh, root 7 by 2 into d e now we are in a position to check all the options so let's do that a option says that the value of delta e which is same as d e uh, or to be explicit let me write it here delta n is delta n2 and we are getting root 7 by 2 into delta e okay so the value of delta e is greater than that of delta n now that doesn't appear to be the case because if i calculate the value of delta n by delta e then i get something which is more than one which means delta n is bigger so a option becomes incorrect okay b option says that delta e is proportional to delta n that looks okay that looks correct from this equation itself c option says that delta e lies between 2 uh, and 3 milli radians if delta n is equal to this much 
So that's pretty easy to check. You can just put the value of delta in here. So it will become 2.8 into 10 raised to power minus 3 into 2 divided by root 7 uh, is equals to root uh, is equals to delta e. So solving this, we will get 5.6 divided by root 7. Now, root 7 would be somewhere close to 2.5 or maybe 2.6. So uh, this seems more than uh, double. Okay. Right. So yeah, in that case, I guess C option is also correct which makes B as incorrect because this is more than two. So D option becomes incorrect. So uh, from among the four options, B and C are correct. All right. Again, a good question. I hope you like the solution. I'll see you in the next question. Take care, guys.